Super Lek Kiatmu Gao is ready to take on the toughest test of his career. You're watching One Championship Weekly. Welcome back to One Championship Weekly. In the main event on the 26th of February, Lumpini Muay Thai World Champion Superlight Kiatmu Gao gets a shot at the gold. The kicking machine looks to put a stop to Ilias Anahachi's reign to become the new one Super Series flyweight kickboxing world champion. The Thai striking ace put on a flawless performance against Pan Payak Jitmwangnan and secured his number two ranked spot in the flyweight kickboxing division. Let's look back at the exciting bout in round two. Go! The game is a seven-year-old, but his first Thailand title at the age of 15. Good outside leg kick to open up there from Superlek. Throws the hands, goes high off the right leg, Superlek. Inside leg kick, Superlek. Hunting that femoral artery. Tip kick to the lead leg there from Pompeyak Jit One Nod. Left hook, round kick combination there from Superleg. 121 wins in 151 outings for a huge 80% finishing rate for Superleg Ketmukau. Very technical style as you're seeing, powerful knees for Superleg. Big soccer fan, football fan in his spare time. Supports Buriram United FC locally and Chelsea in the English Premier League. Long reach of left hand there from Pompeyak and a gut munching knee clinched up in the corner and referee Klaukan breaks them. We said the big winning rate of Superlick at 80%. Well, Pompeyak has that beaten. An enormous 84% winning rate. Extraordinary high winning rate in the sport of Muay Thai for Pompeyak Chikwangon, the 24 year old. 230 wins, 34 knockouts. Pompeyak. Originally from Samut Prakam, about 30 kilometers outside of Bangkok. Takes the round kick and gives one back off his left leg, being the real leg in southpaw stance. They clinch, center of the ring, jockeying for arm positioning. Referee Cloud Clown allows them to grapple for a moment. Decided there wasn't enough action and breaks them. One minute five remaining, second round of three dragon. Lots of forward pressure coming off from Super Leg. You can see him trying to land those kicks, trying to open up that left side of the body of Pompeyak. Maybe he can start covering up with the elbows to that body shot so he can start letting go of the hands up top of the head. But uh, so far, very close matchup. These guys have so much history and they know each other so well. It's just these minor little details. Who can really get things going in these three round Super Series matchups? Nice little knee on the inside there from Super Leg Kipmukau. Half a minute remaining, second of three. Very close contest here. Round kicks off the right leg from Super Leg. Off the left leg from Pompeo. Two-time Lumpini Stadium champion at 118 and 126 pounds, Pompeyak. Two-time Rajdamun champion at 108 and 105 pounds. Beat the great Sam A. Gangadal for the Lumpini featherweight title, I remember, back in 2015. Between Pompeyak and Superlek. Han Payak, who is renowned for his head kicks, actually hasn't won by knockout since 2016 when he head kicked Chalam Punchai at Lumpini Stadium. There's a head kick early from Superlek to open the third and final. Lines it up again off the right leg. Lowers the boom a little on that occasion. Thought about the jab did Pompeyak and again super leg. That's why they call him the kicking machine. If he starts to set the metronome with that right leg, he will be hard to stop super leg. Pompeyak goes downstairs. A little higher there. Nice wall built by super leg on the defense. Comes forward, gets into the clinch, backs up Pompeyak now. 
Chance for the knees. Knee bar put on by Superlick and referee Klau Klan that breaks them. Round kick from Pompeo. The 24 year old. Three time Sports Riders of Thailand Athlete of the Year. 2013. 2014, 2015 for Pun Payak. That's like winning the MVP in the NBA, or winning the Ballon d'Or in soccer. He won it three times in a row. Pun Payak, kick one night. Nice defense against the round kick there. 140 remaining. Is it still anyone's for the taking here, Dragon? How do you see it as we're into the final 90 seconds? Man, this is pretty close. You can just see how well these guys kind of nullify each other's games. This is like their 38th round that they've competed against each other. I haven't had like sparring partners that I've had that much time against. They know each other so well. And you can see that from these shots. They, every time they throw, they're deflecting it. They're just these little tiny scores that might happen. And it might be happening inside the clinch because that's what we've seen a lot in their past matchups is we've seen Ponpayak score successfully inside that clinch because he's got that length on Superlek. You know what's really scary, Mitch, is that inside this audience-free arena where you can hear a pin drop, we are hearing the mighty thumping power of these Muay Thai techniques from two of the finest to ever do it, Pompeo and Superlek. The careening of the round kicks into the legs, into the body. I mean, it sends a shiver down your spine. Can you imagine the sounds we'll be hearing, folks, later on in the night when Jonsson Klai starts to wind up his round kicks, when Rod Tung starts to attack the body in four-ounce gloves. Frightening sounds from an amazing sport brought to you by one super series 15 seconds on the clock here looking for a combination as super lick went high with the kick we are going go down to the judges yet again in this heated rivalry that's been going on for so long match number seven Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner from the blue corner, Superlac Mugao. Coming up after the break, the greatest kickboxer of all time returns to the home of martial arts. You're watching One Championship Weekly. Welcome back to One Championship Weekly.